the Funky Friday Anatomy Quiz and today is a picture quiz. Remember that you can stop the video at any stage, take as long as you need to answer each question. So go grab a pen and let's get to it. Question one, what is the name of this bone? What is the name of the region of this bone? And what attaches to this region? Question two, what is the name of this structure and what does it do? Question three, what is the name of this muscle and where does it attach to? Try and be precise if you can with your answer. Question four, what is the name of this nerve? And what does it supply? And the final question for today is, what is the name of this bone? The answers. Question one is the calcaneum, and the part that is highlighted is the calcaneal tuberosity, which is where the Achilles tendon attaches. And if you remember from a previous quiz, the Achilles tendon is made up from the gastrocnemius and soleus muscles. Question two is the spleen. Now the spleen acts as a filter for blood and it has a number of important functions. It is involved in the immune system as it clears microorganisms from the bloodstream. And it also synthesizes immunoglobulin G, IgG for short, propidin and tuftsin, all of which are proteins involved in the immune response. The spleen also removes abnormal red blood cells or old red blood cells and in some blood disorders, such as leukaemia or sickle cell disease, the spleen can be a site for manufacturing new blood cells, which is a process known as hematopoiesis. The answer to question three is the triceps muscle, which is the only muscle to be found in the posterior compartment of the arm. It attaches to the ulna bone. To be more precise, it attaches to the olecranon process of the ulna bone. Question four. Now I'm a little bit old fashioned, so I call this nerve the superficial perineal nerve, but it's also known as the superficial fibular nerve. This nerve is a branch of the common fibular nerve, which is one of the two components of the sciatic nerve. The superficial fibular nerve travels down the lateral compartment of the leg, and therefore it supplies the two muscles that are in the compartment. These are the fibularis longus and the fibularis brevis. Question five. This is the maxilla, which is the largest of the facial bones, and it holds the upper teeth in its alveolar process. It also contains the maxillary sinus, which is the cavity within the bone, and it is the largest of the four paranasal sinuses. So how did you do this week? If you liked our quiz, share it with your friends, and remember, it's Friday, so stay funky! Your anatomy